Previously on Ayodhya Decoded, the Congress lost the 1989 general election. The BJP, for the very first time, came into a position of influencing national politics. Ayodhya was sharp in focus. After the Shilinyas and with the BJP giving outside support to the VP Singh government, Ram Mandir was no longer a distant dream. Soon after coming to power, Prime Minister VP Singh accepted the controversial Mandal Commission report. For the very first time, 27% reservation was given to non-Dalit, lower caste Hindus at all levels of government service. The Mandal Commission report divided students across the country. Upper caste Hindus and minority students hit the streets in protest, which were impossible to ignore after a 19-year-old dead university student Rajiv Goswami set himself on fire in protest. The BJP was in a quandary. It could not support Mandal because it discriminated against their upper caste Hindu vote base. The BJP needed to change the conversation from caste and quota to religion and Ram. And so the decision was taken to launch a Rath Yatra from Somnath to Ayodhya. BJP President LK Advani would travel in an air-conditioned Toyota bus turned chariot. Thousands of people followed the Rath Yatra across towns and villages to hear Advani talk about Ram's birthplace, the temple and how the government stood in its way. But with this Yatra, the BJP was defying the very government that it supported. Janta Dal wanted to stop Advani from conducting the Kar Seva in Ayodhya. On 23rd October 1990, first-time Chief Minister Lalu Prasad Yadav, who was then part of the Janta Dal, arrested Advani in Samastipur, Bihar and kept him in custody for a week. The BJP naturally withdrew its support to the VP Singh government. The country was left politically unstable and communally divided. Next on Ayodhya Decoded, Rajiv Gandhi backed the Janta Dal rebel Chandra Shekhar to form a government. Prime Minister Chandrasekhar brought the VHP and the Babri Masjid Action Committee to the negotiating table. But before they could arrive at a compromise, the Congress withdrew support and the Chandrasekhar government fell. Two years later, Advani would finally reach Ayodhya to witness the fall of the disputed structure.